This lesson will show how to uh, work with quadratic, rela quadratic relations that are in the factored or intercept form. It looks like y equals a, some constant, times x minus r, where r is one of the x-intercepts, times x minus s, s is the other intercept. And in two examples, the first one on this page, we're given this quadratic equation of the relation y equals one-half, x minus two times x plus six. So this is in the factored or intercept form. Now we're asked to find the x-intercepts of this graph. The x-intercepts are places along the x-axis where the graph grows, goes through the x-axis. And on the x-axis, y is zero. And so if we set this equal to zero, it's in a factored form. The only way that a half times this factor times this factor could equal zero is if either this factor have a, has a value of zero or the x plus six would have a value of zero. The half, of course, is a constant. It can't have a value of zero. And so the way we find the x-intercepts is we set each of these factors individually to zero. So I set x minus two, this x minus two here, to zero, and I solve for x. So x would equal two. Two is the number that would make that factor have a value of zero. And so if x was two, we get this point right here. At that point right there, the function or the y value has a value of zero. So if I put two in there, I get a half times, this would be zero, and it really doesn't matter what this is, it would be eight, two plus six is eight, but a half times zero times eight is still zero. And so the y coordinate is zero there. Now the other intercept is found by setting the x plus six factor to zero. And so we solve for x and we get negative six. And so negative six over here is the other place where the y coordinate is zero or the other x intercept. Now, the axis of symmetry is the vertical line that goes through the vertex, which is halfway between where these two intercepts are. And if we want to find that place where it's halfway between, what we can do is take the two, this is one way to find the axis of symmetry, take this two and add to it the negative six over here. and then divide by two. It'll give us the average. The average of those two is gonna be the middle. And of course, two and negative six add to negative four, divided by two, which of course is negative two. So x equals negative two, the vertical line that goes through negative two is where the axis of symmetry would be. So the axis of symmetry is x equals negative two because that's the vertical line right through the middle of the graph, right halfway between where positive two and negative six occur. So you'll see this line coming in now. That's the axis of symmetry. Now to find the coordinates of the vertex, the vertex is a point that's on that vertical line. And since it's on that vertical line, and that's the line x equals negative two, the x coordinate of the vertex has to be negative two because every single point on that line has an x value of negative two. That's why it's called the line x equals negative two. Now to find the, the whole vertex, we need to know the y value. And so what I do is I would take my equation that we're given and I'll substitute negative two in place of x here and here. So there's my negative two in place of x there and in place of x there. And so I would evaluate this. Negative two times minus negative two, of course, is negative four. Negative two plus six is positive four. Now four times negative four is negative 16. And then we take half of that, which would, which would be negative eight. So that's the y coordinate of the vertex. So the vertex would be the point that has x coordinate of negative two and a y coordinate of negative eight. So that's where the vertex is. So we can plot our vertex now, and now we can draw the graph. So it's a upward opening parabola because this constant is positive. That's the vertex and those are the two intercepts. So the graph would have to look like this. Flipping over to the example on the second page, uh, the Dufferin gate is a parabolic arch that is about 20 meters tall and 22 meters wide. And we're gonna draw a sketch of that parabola and we're asked to start the sketch with uh, uh, it's starting at 12 meters to the right of the origin. So we're gonna start right there. Now, 
If it's 22 meters wide, that's at 12, that's 12 meters there, so we'd have to go 10 meters on this side to find where the arch is on the left. Now, those are, so those are our intercepts. Now we have to find where the vertex is. And in order to find where the vertex is, look where the axis symmetry is. The vertical line that's halfway between negative 10 and positive 12, we would average negative 10 and positive 12. We add them together, divide by 2, because the axis symmetry is right in the middle between the two of those. So that adds up to 2 in the numerator. 2 divided by 2 is 1. So x equals 1, this line right here, that's the axis of symmetry. And we're told that the arch is 20 meters tall, so the vertex should be right here at the point 120. So that's our, that's our vertex. So the, the parabola would be this downward opening parabola with a vertex here, and those are the two intercepts. So this is what it looks like. Now we're asked to find an equation to model this arch. We do know the two intercepts, so the intercept form is the most convenient to use here. Now, one intercept is at negative 10. Remember, it goes x minus each intercept. So this is actually x take away negative 10, which is x plus 10. And this intercept is at positive 12, so it's x minus 12. x minus the intercept at 12. The only thing we have to find now is what a is. And we can find what a is by using a point that we know on the graph. And the 120 point is the one I'll use. I can't actually use the coordinates at one of the intercepts. That won't allow me to solve for a. So 20 is the y value. So 20 goes here in place of y. And the x coordinate is 1. So 1 goes here and 1 goes here. Now this is 11. And this is negative 11. So 11 times negative 11 is negative 121. So I end up with now at 20 equals negative 121 times a, or negative 121a. And so we divide out the negative 121 and get a is 20 over negative 121, or negative 20 121sts. So that's the, the value of a. So the equation, here's the equation, and we're going to put this in place of a. So an equation of all the arch would be a y equals negative 20 over 121, x plus 10 times x minus 12. And that's the end of the lesson.